Hey Yogi, it's Julia. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Today I have a sequence for you that will rev you up, tone your midsection, and will leave you energized for your entire day. So let's get started. To begin, come on down to your back. Bend your knees and stamp your feet on the floor so your low back can get long. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Begin to breathe deeply. With your feet about mats width distance, begin to rock your knees side to side. You can send your arms out to cactus arms if that feels good across your chest. We're just rocking side to side to start to move the waist a little bit, relax the low back, begin to turn on the core. Draw your knees into your chest and find a happy baby. Hands will come out to the edges of your feet or your ankles. You could also hang on to the backs of your thighs if that feels more comfortable for you. Release the happy baby and then scoot your hips over to the left and drop both of your knees to the right for a supine twist. Starting with a gentle twist here. We're gonna work our core a whole bunch today, but for right now, just continue to breathe low and slow. Great work. Return through the middle. Scoot your hips over to the right and drop both of your knees to the left. A lot of times in a supine twist, our shoulders feel a little stuck underneath. So if you need to shimmy one of your shoulder blades out from underneath you, do so. Breathe down into the waist. If your gaze allows, you can gaze over your right thumb. Great work. Come back to center and draw your knees into your chest. Place your hands behind your thighs and you'll rock yourself up to tabletop. In tabletop position, stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, zip the low belly into the spine, and then we'll begin to turn in that deep core right here. So tuck your toes and hover your knees just a couple inches off the mat. Energize the heels of your hands and your knees towards one another, and then zip your hips up and back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog right away, rock to plank pose. We're gonna get on into it. From plank pose, everything's turned on. We'll open to side plank. You can always drop your right knee, ground into your right hand and reach your left arm up. If you'd like a little added challenge, come onto the edges of both feet so that your knees are lifted. Feel one strong plank line from your ankle through your hip to your armpit, and on your exhale, come back through center to your high plank and swivel over to side plank, this time with the left hand grounded and the right arm reaching up. So there's a lot going on in plank. Allow it to be a full body action from legs to belly to arms and chest. Rock back through the center and lower down to a forearm plank. Great work. From forearm plank, push yourself back up to high plank and we'll take our first big power move. So open up to side plank with your right hand grounded and then step your top foot halfway up the mat. On your exhale, crunch the bottom knee up to the top elbow. Remember, you have a foot and a hand that are grounded, so push into the ground so you have a lot of stability and on every exhale, hug your elbow into your knee right in front of your belly button. So this is a big power move for the deep core, but it also asks you to find stability through your shoulder and stability through your hips. You're doing a great job. Only move as fast as you can to stabilize. On your next exhale, release down to tabletop and start to move your body in some circles. Let go of tension. Allow your shoulders to be soft. Make sure to move in both directions. Great work. Let's take that power move on the other side. So these side plank crunches. Cross the top foot halfway up your mat. Find stability. And on an exhale, draw your bottom knee to your top elbow. Great work. Use every exhale to crunch and every inhale to expand back out. As you exhale, you'll notice you'll zip the low belly in and that'll give you a little extra stability. So you're really using your exhales to help you stabilize and you use your inhales to expand you out. Great work, stick with it. I know this move is challenging, you're almost there. Nice job. On your next exhale, come back to high plank. 
lower down to your knees. And this time take some C curves in the spine, gaze over each shoulder, just moving your waist from side to side. On your next exhale, come to downward facing dog. On your inhale, reach your right foot up and draw your thigh into your chest. Do that a couple times. Inhale your right leg up. On your exhale, hug your thigh right up into your chest. Gaze a bit forward. You'll notice that'll help you access a little extra zip. Good. On your exhale, step your right foot between your thumbs. Ground into your left finger pads and then turn and lift your right lung and your right arm up. Stay strong in the back leg so you can lengthen your waist and then rotate your heart up towards your right wrist. Beautiful. On your exhale, land your hand and release your left knee. Come on up to a kneeling crescent. Hug in and up through the inner thighs. Lengthen the front side body and extend your heart up to your wrist. So instead of crunching back into the low back, you're lifting up and out of the waist. As you exhale, release your palms down, step back to high plank, and if you'd like, you can lower to low plank or chaturanga. On your inhale, you'll come through upward facing dog, loop the shoulder heads up, back and down, and then push back to downward facing dog. Send your left foot high this time, and on your exhale, bring your thigh into your chest. A couple times more, inhale the left foot high, exhale thigh to chest. Inhale, left foot high, exhale thigh to chest, and then a big step. Put your foot between your thumbs. Lengthen your heart forward and strengthen the right leg. On your very next exhale, take your low lunge twist. Plug your right fingertips down so you're making some contact with the earth. Good. Open up the collarbones and gaze up to your top hand. Continue to activate your legs. That's where you find power and stability in this pose. Good. On your next breath out, drop the hand, drop your back knee, and come on up to a kneeling crescent or anjaneyasana. Hug in and up through the inner thighs and pelvic floor. Allow your waist to get long, your arms to get long. Everything is bright and lifted here. On your exhale, drop your hands and step back to your plank pose. Lower down to low plank or chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. So really press into the tops of your feet and your hands so that your neck can get long and your heart moves through. And as you exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Good, we'll take all of that core strength that we've just built and go through some sun A's. So come to the top of your mat and then forward fold and allow your head to hang. On your inhale, reach all the way up and on your exhale, bring your hands to Anjali Mudra or hands at heart center in prayer. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at your hips and bow, forward fold. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And on your exhale, plant your hands, step back to high plank. Option to lower to Chaturanga. On your inhale, upward facing dog. So you're gonna loop those shoulder heads up, back and down so you can press into your hands. Downward facing dog, lift from your low belly and hips. Allow your neck to get long between your upper arm bones. Good, inhale, gaze forward, soften your knees. Exhale and then step or hop up to the top of the mat. On your inhale, lengthen your chest halfway. On your exhale, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, all the way up, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Nice work, let's keep going. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway lift your chest, lengthen your spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. If you step or float back, just go straight to the bent elbows. Move through upward facing dog and then reset in downward facing dog. You're doing great, let's keep building some heat. On your next breath in, gaze forward, soft knees. Exhale and then hop. Halfway lift, long spine. Forward fold, bow. Inhale, stand up, reach all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, bow in half. Inhale, halfway lift, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop. If you hop straight back, hop to bent elbows. Upward facing dog. And then exhale to downward facing dog, lift your hips on up and back. Great work. Probably noticing your heart is beating a little faster. Continue to lengthen your breath to regulate your system. 
On your inhale, gaze forward. On your exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Halfway lift your chest as you breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Now we'll come into chair. Bend into your knees and send your sit bones down and back. Reach up through your arms. Your feet can be together or hips width distance. Allow your legs to build heat. And on your next exhale, forward fold. Slide your hands to your shins, halfway lift your chest, and now just lunge your left foot back so you're in a really long stance of a lunge. From there, come up to high crescent lunge. Push down through your front right foot. Your back heel will be elevated and hug your inner thighs. Lengthen your waist and allow your heart to reach up through your fingers, and on your exhale, open up to warrior two. Your arms will come out to a T and your back heel will spiral down. Hug in and up through your inner thighs and allow your front knee to track with the center of your front foot. Flip your front palm, maintain your warrior two legs, but lift up and back into reverse warrior. So you're deep in your lunge, but stretch the right side body and reach your right fingertips high. Really nice. On your next exhale, cartwheel your hands to your mat. Use your belly to step your right foot lightly back to downward facing dog. So those little transitions where we feel like the foot might be light or we can glide, where we're starting to cultivate some deep core strength. Good, we'll take all of that again on the other side. So come to the top of the mat. On your next inhale, chair pose. Sit down and back so you're really anchored in your pelvis. Lengthen up through your waist and arms. Great work. On your next exhale, bow over your thighs. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen your spine and neck. And as you exhale, lunge your right foot way back. Challenge yourself with a really long stance. Come on up to high lunge, reach up. It's so easy to lose the depth in our lunge, but maintain it and allow your spine to get long instead. Great work. On your next exhale, open up to warrior two, so your front heel will bisect your back arch. As you get low into your lunge, Allow your crown to get lifted up to the heavens. And keep the base of your neck nice and soft. Great work. On your inhale, reach up to reverse warrior. You're still strong down through the back leg, but lengthen up through your left side body and your left arm. If your neck allows, you can also gaze up. On your exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat and then lightly step your left foot back so that comes deep from your core. Good, we can close this off with a chaturanga if you choose. Rock forward to plank pose, lower just halfway, your elbows a hug into the side body. Upward facing dog on your inhale, it kind of feels like you're filling up a well with your breath. And then downward facing dog to close it off. We'll continue to build heat, flowing breath to movement. On your inhale, gaze forward. On your exhale, step or hop. Halfway lift, long spine, long legs. Forward fold, bow in half. Inhale, come to Utkatasana, chair pose. Great work, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge your left foot back. Inhale, high lunge, feel strong, feel fierce. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up high. Exhale, hands to the mat, lightly step back. Feel that core strength. Really nice. Let's take the other side. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat. Halfway lift your chest, fill your lungs. Forward fold, release your head down. Bend into your knees, chair pose. Forward fold, bow your chest over your thighs. Halfway lift, pull your shoulder blades away from your ears. Exhale, lunge your right foot back. High lunge, so your legs are low, but your arms are high. Warrior two, open up, gaze forward. Inhale to reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, lightly step back. Nice work. Rock forward to plank pose. Close it off with chaturanga. Upward facing dog, strong legs, strong arms. And downward facing dog, send your hips high up and back. On your next inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift your chest, inhale. 
Forward fold, bow your brain. Chair pose, Utkatasana, bend your knees, sit back. Forward fold, bow. Lift your hips, drop your head. Halfway lift, pull your lungs off your thighs. Lunge your left foot back as you exhale. Inhale, arms up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, stretch your side body. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back to down dog. Inhale, gaze forward, keep building some heat. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Breathe in, lungs off the thighs, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold, let your head be heavy. Now bend your knees, sit back, it's chair. Build some heat in your legs. Forward fold, bow, hips up, head low. Inhale to halfway lift, pull your shoulder blades away from your ears. Exhale, lunge your right foot back. Inhale, reach up through your arms, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two, strong legs, long spine. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach up through your side body. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Great work. Take a couple moments here just to breathe. You've built a lot of heat. Great. When you're ready, come to the top of your mat, lift yourself halfway, and then fold again. Sit back and down into chair pose, and we'll start to incorporate some twists. Bring your hands to your heart. Lengthen your left side body a little bit, and then twist to your right. Bring your left elbow to your right thigh. Find a connection between your elbow and thigh and push them together. So you find some traction, you'll turn on the side body. On your inhale, reach your arms through center. Stay in your chair legs and twist to the other side. Again, leverage your elbow and thigh together. Cinch the top waist down and draw the shoulder away from your ears so you can turn your gaze up without hurting your neck or pinching your neck. Really great, stay low in the legs, come through the center, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart, stand on the right leg and lift your left knee up. Inhale, sit back down into chair, and then switch sides, lift your right knee up. Inhale, sit back into chair. Exhale, left knee up. Inhale, sit back into chair. Exhale, right knee up. Inhale, sit back. Exhale, left knee up. Pause here. Reach your arms up, keep your left knee lifted, and then take a twist. So a lot of challenge here, stand strong, on your right leg, feel mountain pose in your spine, and then rotate from your ribs, through your heart, through your back arm. Continue to keep your left knee lifted. Circle your arms through the center and overhead. On your exhale, hinge back through an airplane pose and then touch your left toes down. Inhale to high lunge, kind of like you're moving through honey. And then exhale your hands to your heart. Open arm twist over your right shoulder. Stay in your crescent legs, lift up through your spine, and then turn your torso. Take your gaze to your back thumb. Really nice. On your next breath in, unwind all of that to star pose, getting big, and then squat down into goddess. Inhale to star, reach up. Exhale, goddess, squat. Inhale, reach up, big star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess. Pause here. Come onto the ball of your feet and lift your heels. And then do that a few times. You're staying low in the goddess legs, but adding a little challenge by just lifting your heels a couple inches. Continue to track your knees back towards the center of your feet, especially if you feel them caving in. Pause for a moment with your heels lifted. Let your legs shake and quake. And then release them down. Big star on your next inhale. And as you exhale, settle down into warrior two. Breathe in. Reverse your warrior big up. Breathe out, land your hands, and step back to downward facing dog. You definitely built some heat there. Feel all the warmth in your skin, and then let's take it to the other side, step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift your chest on your next breath in. Forward fold, bow. Inhale to chair pose, sit low, reach your arms high. And then exhale, we'll take our twist. Turn over your right shoulder. Bring your left elbow to your right thigh. For an added challenge, open your arms. 
spread through your collarbones and reach through your fingers. Good, close your hands to prayer, come back through the center. We'll take that twist to the other side, leverage your elbow and thigh together. For added challenge, this time open your arms to fly. Great, land your hands back to the heart. Inhale through chair. Let's start with those single leg squats again. Lift up and then lower back to chair. Lift your left knee and then lower back to chair. Switch. Good. Switch. You're doing great. Notice that the exhales can help you with the exertion. Pause here with your right knee lifted. Firm up your left leg and reach up through your arms. And then take a twist. Bring your left hand to your right thigh. Turn from your waist and your heart and take your gaze back to your right thumb. Your mountain pose is still right there in your spine so you're tall through your crown. Tons of room for breath. Feel confident as you come back through the center. Then hinge at your hips through an airplane pose. Reach your arms back. Land your right toes. Inhale to high lunge. Send your arms up overhead. Find your strong crescent lunge legs. And try your hands to your heart. Open arm twist. Turn over the left side this time. Spread out through your wings. Let your collarbone smile and turn your gaze to your back thumb. A little balance challenge here. Great job. Come back through center and then burst open and squat down into goddess. Move through star and goddess with your breath. Inhales to get big and star. Exhales to lower into goddess squat. Inhale star. Exhale squat low. Good. Pause here and then lift your heels a few times. You know where we're going. Notice a little shake and quake in your legs, but be with it as you find just a little bit of lift in your heels. Great work. On your next breath in, open up to star, feel some relief, and then warrior two as you exhale. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, gaze forward. On your breath out, come to the top of your mat. Halfway lift your chest, breathe in. Forward fold, reset, breathe out. So let's put a few of those pieces together. Come all the way up to standing, reach up, and then take eagle or garudasana. Swing your right arm under your left arm. You can bind at your elbows and wrists or just at your elbows. Slide your right thigh over your left thigh. Hug your inner thighs together. Activate your foot as a kickstand or bind it behind your ankle. Good, continue to hug the legs, release the hands to your heart. Stand on your left leg and lift your right knee up and then open up your right hip into tree pose. So a little bit of a balance challenge. Allow your right knee to feel as though it's opening up back behind you, but continue to press your right foot into your left thigh and your left thigh back into your right foot so you have a strong foundation. From that foundation, you can feel lifted. Great work. Close up your right hip and release your right foot down. On your inhale, let's take it on the other side. Reach your arms up. And then Garuda, Garudasana, the eagle. Swing your left arm under your right. Sit down into your chair and slide your left thigh over your right. Hug your inner thighs like you're wrapping them down to the floor. You're just kind of drilling down into the earth. Lots of stability, a really strong foundation so you can continue to hug the low belly in and up. Bring your elbows in front of your heart and find that nice eagle stretch. Good. Then release your hands to your heart. Stand on your right foot this time. Lift your left knee. Open up the hip and come into tree pose. Where your foot and your leg connect, press together so you have that firmness in your legs. Feel tall in your spine. Maybe you lift your arms or make some branches like a tree. Lots of space for breath here. Really nice work. Release your hands to your heart and release your left foot down. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift on your breath in. Step or hop back to Chaturanga. You can always skip Chaturanga anytime your shoulders ask you to. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Lift your right foot up to the sky. 
On your exhale, find half pigeon. Bring your right knee a little wider than your right wrist. Allow your heel to cheat in towards your left groin. Extend your left leg long behind you and find stability across your pelvis. For some of us, this can be a little bit pinchy on the front knee, especially when our hips are low. So if you need to elevate your right hip on a pillow, that can feel sweet. To find a hip flexor and a quad release, walk your hands back to your hips, bend your left knee. If that feels like plenty, there's no need to add the bind. If the bind feels accessible, draw your hand to your ankle, or you could even hook your foot into your elbow crease. Continue that mula bandha or root lock action so that drawing in and up of the pelvic floor so there's stability, especially as you focus on this big stretch. When you feel ready, release your hands, prop up onto your finger pads, and pull your heart through the frame of your shoulder. Great. On your exhale, plant your palms down, and then step back to downward facing dog. We'll take a flip dog as a counterbalance. Reach your right foot up, push down into your left hand, and then allow the weight of your right leg to flip you over. Root into your feet, pull your low ribs out of your low back, and expand through the top arm. On an exhale, rewrap to downward facing dog. It's a pretty big move, so it takes a few times to get used to it. Let's take all of that on the other side. Lift your left leg high, and then bring your left knee to your outer left wrist for half pigeon. I'm so much more concerned about you feeling stable in this posture than I am about how quote unquote parallel that front shin is. So if you notice your heel is more comfortable in towards your groin instead of directly across from your knee, that is A-OK. -okay. And you can also put a yoga block or a pillow underneath your left butt cheek here for more stability. Walk your hands back to your pelvis Bend your right knee. Sometimes bending your knee is all you need for a quad stretch. If you do need a little bit more to find the release that you're looking for, bind at your hand and ankle or bring your foot in towards your elbow crease. Regardless of where you're at, continue to look for lift in your heart. Great, release that quad stretch. Find a little bit of a back bend here. Prop up into your fingers, so you're pushing into the ground, pull the heart through. And on your exhale, plant your palms and step back to downward facing dog. On this side, we'll take a wild thing. It's related to your flip dogs, just a little bit different. Ground into your right hand, allow the weight of your left leg to pull you over, but for wild thing, allow that inside leg to get nice and long. Spot the ground and when you're ready, rewrap over to downward facing dog. Find a moment of stability. Shake out your neck or your hips or your legs, anything that you need to move for a little more comfort. On your next breath in, gaze up to your hands and then find a seat. We will release the front side body with a reverse tabletop. Push into your hands and feet, elevate your hips, and wrap your shoulder blades behind your heart. The entire back line of your body is working here to keep you lifted. Great work. Big stretch for your chest. On your next exhale, release your hips down and then slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Allow yourself to get comfortable and draw your right knee around your ribs up to your armpit for a half window removing pose. Circle your ankles in circles just a few times, right and left and then come into your supine twist. You've worked really hard, so start to use the supine twist to slow down your breathing. Breathe low, breathe slow. Notice how this twist feels a little bit different than the twist we, we began with in practice. Come back through the center, and then we can take that on the other side. So the right leg will go long, your left knee will wrap around your rib up to your armpit, and then move your ankle in a few circles, clockwise and counterclockwise. And when you're ready, take your supine twist, tuck your right hip under, cross your left knee over to the right side of your mat. Invite your left arm out. So in the left side of the supine twist, allow your hips to stack and glide your left knee across the body. Open up the chest. Continue to breathe low and slow.
starting to unwind and cool down from this active, really powerful and strong practice. Great work. Come back through the middle. Invite your feet to go as wide as your mat. Knock your knees in. And then rock your knees side to side, similar to how we started this practice. Pause in the middle, place a hand on the heart, a hand on the belly, breathe. You may even feel your heartbeat underneath your hand. When you're ready, pull both of your thighs into your chest and just rock a little, slowing down your breath, slowing down your heart rate, giving your body a little bit of comfort, a little bit of ease after all of that big effort. Begin to unravel yourself into Shavasana. Take up space. Allow your low back to be in its natural curve. Release your arms out. Turn your palms face up. Relax the muscles in your face, your jaw. Breathe and soften. ready, come into a big stretch. Draw your thighs into your chest and pull yourself up to a seat. Bring yourself to Sukhasana or easy pose, reach your arms up overhead and on an exhale, bring your hands with gratitude to your heart. You did a great job. Bring your thumbs to your mind's eye, fill up, and with an exhale, bow forward to salute yourself, to salute your effort, to salute your practice. Ah, As always, namaste. Hey, it's Julia, and welcome to my 30-day yoga for weight loss program. I've designed this program to help you live more optimally. In addition to 30 days of yoga, you will find bonus tips and homework assignments at the end of each video to help you stay on track. You did it! In fact, we've created a really balanced program. This means you are going to be addressing all aspects of your well being, from your physicality all the way to how are you feeling mentally and emotionally throughout the entire 30 days. We're starting right here from the ground on up to build a practice that you can sustain day in, day out for your whole life. But let's just start with 30 days. I can't wait to get started with you and I'll see you on your mat.